guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, we are talking about the newest spring line from Shea McGee that is now at Target. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you have not already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at mom with muscle. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So I'm going to be commentating. I have my laptop here to the left of me. I did go into a Target yesterday and filmed some footage of the newest line from Shea McGee that is at Target. And I just went through every single item that she has to this collection. I'm gonna give you guys my personal opinion. Do keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. So if you don't like what I have to say, totally fine. If you love the whole entire collection, totally fine. I just figured it would be fun to kind of go through if I think this collection is worth the money, it's worth the hype. So let's get into it. So starting with these first couple items, which are these vases, she did have these in three different sizes. They came in like a small, a medium, and a large. They were priced at 20, 25, and $50. I think for her pricing for this collection is very reasonable. These vases are pretty, they're neutral. Do they wow me? Not by any means, but they're a nice neutral, especially if you like florals, if you like floral arrangements, if you like putting, you know, fake foliage in vases, this would be a great option. Like I said, does it wow me? No but it's very beautiful. So that's kind of the first item I want. Now these next vases, I absolutely love. I love vases from Studio McGee. I actually got a really beautiful, like burnt orange brown ribbed vase in her fall collection. And I use it almost all the time, every single day. I am one that loves fresh florals in my home. I go to Trader Joe's. If I'm not at Trader Joe's, I go to the flower mart. I absolutely love having florals in my home. So I can really appreciate these, you know, these hand blown type glass vases. They were priced at 15 and under. Now the next is this kind of like ribbed dish. This like kind of decorative bowl was priced at $30. This kind of like ribbed waved type style is very popular for 2022 trends that we are seeing. It kind of reminds me of like 80s and 90s style instead of like harsh cut throat lines. It's, we're definitely seeing a lot more curvature. So this is very popular, very in for 2022. I think it would be great styled on a coffee table or even a catch-all dish. So that was another item. Now, the most favorite piece out of this entire collection is this lamp. Now, I think this gives me 100% restoration hardware and Pottery Barn vibes for a fraction of the price. It's got this like lived in, used kind of vintage type uh, base with a beautiful white shade on top. Now, I don't know the price of it. It wasn't linked or it wasn't shown here on the actual lamp itself. I'll probably insert it here. But this was my favorite find out of this entire collection. I think even if you wanted to emphasize it or kind of kick it up a notch, you could even distress it a little bit more if you are one of that loves doing a DIY. But I thought this lamp was a really great piece to add to her collection for the springtime. So that was another item. She had a lot of rattan. So there was like this next has like the rattan shade there, popular within this collection I noticed. So this next little, cute little lamp, like the magazine holder right next to it. I think it's very, kind of reminds me of my grandma to be honest. I'm not really one that loves wicker, but I can appreciate it for what it is. I know these weren't priced very expensive. And I think a lot of people are putting those kind of smaller lamps in their kitchen. Not really my style, but I definitely, again, can appreciate these items. Now this decorative box didn't wow me. I think it was, what was it priced at? It's priced at $20. Mm, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of redundant. That was one thing I did want to state within this, this collection. I feel like it is definitely redundant. A lot of the items that I'm seeing within this spring collection, I feel like she's done before. I mean, I know it's hard to get like, you know, super innovative when it comes to things that we've never seen before. That was one thing I did want to comment on. I just I feel like I've seen these things before. Like nothing really, really stood out to me minus that one lamp. But this decorative box was whatever. It was okay. I mean, 20 bucks if you have open shelving, great. But again, did not wow me. Now her foliage in this line was actually, I actually really enjoyed the foliage. I do have this rosemary bush that I purchased from this line. I do want to stress that it does not look realistic. When you are up close to it, it definitely has a very faux look to it. But how I have it styled is in my kitchen kind of behind like my cooking book. So it just adds a little bit of fullness it adds a little bit of texture and some color in little areas that i need like a little nook i did like that it is a rosemary bush you guys know that i do love all of my olive trees my olive stems but i have a lot of it so i loved this as kind of a different a different texture a different color it's a different type 
foliage so it adds a little bit of visual interest and breaks up all the olive that I do have within my home. So I did love this. I love the little pot that it comes in. Super cute and I know it came in another little version there as well. Moving on to these glazed, they had them labeled as a vase. So they were cute. I mean, again, like $20 a vase. That's the color scheme that you love. It's kind of got a speckling there. It comes in like a terracotta brown and a little bit of a lighter kind of cream beige color. Cute. But again, nothing that was like, wow, I have to have it. So love this next piece. This is this kind of olive vessel that's in this kind of distressed, a lot of creams, a lot of tans, lighter colors in kind of a distressed vase. I thought that was really cute. She did come out with olive bush that was in like a charcoal gray container that I think I purchased last year from her spring collection. So this was just kind of a different take. Instead of it being a bush, it looks more like a stem. This one's priced at $30. So reasonably priced. If you have um, an area to put this, really cute. Thumbs up on that one. I thought these brass bookends were super cute. I love that the brass is kind of more of a deep, uh, rich color instead of it being like more of like a yellow gold. Those were priced at $30 and those would be great for shelving unit. If you have open shelving, those would be really pretty uh, to have styled on a open shelving unit. Now she does have this next line and I believe a console table as well. This is a side table. To be honest, I don't like this at all. The shape is pretty. I don't like the material that it is made of. It's not really my style. I, like I said, I do like the hexagon shape that it is in. I just don't like the material that this is actually made out of. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a pass for me on that one. This next little stool is super cute. I think if you're kind of wanting that like vintage stool look, that's very, very popular right now. This could be cute as a little side table next to a couch. This could be, you know, super cute next to a bathtub with some bath sponges and some little rolled towels. Like there's definitely some universal things that you could do when it comes to styling this little stool. I think this is super cute and it is going to be a little bit cheaper than if you were to say go vintage. So loved this. That was a definitely a thumbs up for that. This next piece is this artwork piece. It kind of just looks like clouds, very neutral, beautiful. It's really pretty. It's, it's a printed art piece, but to be honest for the price, I would say if this is your style, I would definitely go vintage. You can find some really cool sellers on Etsy, even go thrift shopping, go to antique stores. You can find some really cool like oil type paintings, for probably a little bit more money, but to get that more realistic look and vibe, I think definitely investing in some artwork is very, very important. If spending a lot of money on artwork is not your thing, this would be a great option. It's really pretty. It just looks like a bunch of clouds, very neutral, could go with any home decor style. So that that's a 50-50 for me. So this next clip, we are moving into the hearth and hand section. Hearth and hand didn't have too much, to be honest, at least this Target didn't have that much. They had a lot of foliage. I noticed they had a ton of foliage when it came to, they have like little tiny glass vases with a bunch of like single stem florals in there and different type foliage, which I noticed Hearth and Hands prices are a little bit more expensive than Studio McGee. I don't know why that is, but I noticed kind of like comparing apples to apples that Hearth and Hand definitely has a little bit higher of a price point when it comes to their items. But I noticed a lot of foliage, a lot of stems, a lot of like little vases with single stem of flowers in it. Nothing really wowed me to be honest. Loved this mat, glad you're here. Super cute, super simplistic. I would definitely layer that if, if you are into styling your entryway. Loved that, priced at $12.99. And then lastly for this, I don't know if this is a new item for either collection, but I absolutely loved these stools. These are kind of in a black wood with a black uh, woven seat in leather. They were priced at $150. They are from Threshold. They're considered a dining chair, but to be honest, they, they sat really high. So I don't know if those are counter stool. I was not sure, but I loved those. I saw that on my way out and I was like, that's a really great option. If you're wanting that kind of restoration hardware, I know RH has a very similar chair to that and it's a fraction of the price. So I. Like I said, I don't know what collection, if that was a new for, you know, threshold or not, but I absolutely loved those. And that price tag is really nice, especially when you're needing four to six of them. So. so all in all, you guys, when it comes to these new collections, I always stress that if you see something you like from the collection, just buy like one or two pieces. Don't go ham and buy the whole entire collection because that's when you start looking like a copy and paste. It looks exactly like a Target showroom or a Shea McGee home, you want to have some originality when it comes to styling your home. So be very intentional when it comes to buying 
these new pieces from these new collections. So that is it. I wanted to just kind of talk about this new line from Shea McGee at Target, see what your guys' thoughts are. Sound off in the comments. Do you guys like it? Do you don't like it? Again, I was kind of on the fence. A few pieces here and there that I loved, but the rest of it I could do without. Nothing really wowed me. Nothing that like had to have my money. So that is it. I love you so much and we'll see you in my next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.